Welcome to your love reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with every Scorpio watching this video. If you do need a passive reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Ace of Wands, damn! A brand new passionate beginning. This is a clean slate. You know what I'm getting? <clears throat> I think there's something that you let go of, you know, there could have been like something that was very overwhelming, a very draining energy, a relationship where you felt probably you were the only one who was doing things, you let the relationship go, and now there's someone who's coming in towards you who's wanting a brand new beginning with you, this is someone who wants to restore balance, okay, they want to make things right, this is like that brand new beginning after an ending, and it's, oh, fuck, seriously, sorry for the cursing, but I'm so excited, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, you gotta be kidding me, bro. Like, that is commitment. That is not only a passionate new beginning, that's not only enthusiasm, but that's also that, uh, that a beginning of something very stable, something very committed, you know? Wow, you have an apology coming in. <clears throat> okay, this could be new love. I'm not getting that so much, but I'm still going to put it out there for someone. This could be new love. There's new communication coming in, flirtatious, someone, you know, flirting. But I'm getting more like someone who's coming in with that love offer, someone who's ready to open up emotionally, someone who has a hard time opening up and expressing themselves emotionally. But this is more like an apology to me. I saw the Six of Cups. This could be someone from your past, someone who you've broken up with, an ex. But there's a reconciliation on the cards here, dude. So cool. Queen of Wands, because they see you as the Queen of Wands. They see you as this badass. They see you as someone who's got their shit together. Very, very self-confident. Someone who's very passionate. A go-getter, okay? <clears throat> they're very attracted to you. Very attracted to you. I mean, they better do something about it before the Queen of Wands is out of their life for good. But yeah, you're doing your thing is what I'm getting. Whilst you do your thing. And they want a reconciliation for the Three of Cups, yeah? someone's coming in with that reconciliation let's get back together i'm ready to offer you something stable something committed something tangible i'm giving you security i'm so passionate about you will you let me in apologies please accept my apology while well, the queen of wands is looking there so that's what my problem is that this person is coming in with that apology but i don't know if you're still interested in giving this person another chance they're coming in in a good way <clears throat> but they're more like i don't know seven of wands i think you're going to be very guarded okay you block this person out you're standing by your beliefs you're standing by what you think is right <coughs> like i said right i don't know if you want to give in to this person because for you it's like you know you're very guarded very defensive from this person you have trust issues probably or you've just given this person a lot of chances okay a lot of chances and now you're like i don't know you're just not sure if you want to give this person another chance. But yeah, the three of wands here, yeah, I think you're going to be waiting. Maybe this is something you've manifested. Maybe you've been waiting for this ace of pentacles. You've been waiting for this commit commitment, okay? And it is. Your ships are coming in. But it's just like probably either it's been too long by the time this person came in, you know? And you waited too long for this. And probably now you're ready to explore other horizons. Yeah? And with the seven of wands here, I think you're just... I'm getting more of that blocked energy, you know, like, like no entry. You're not allowed here. You can come in with Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, but, you know, they're coming with a page of cups, right? And that's something that I feel you, do, you don't want to entertain. If you're the queen, doesn't matter the gender, but if you're the queen of wands here, you're a queen, you're dealing with a page, and that's something that, you know, with the Seven of Wands here, that's something that you don't like, you know, because that is an energetic difference, right? You're dealing, you wanting to deal with this with a lot of passion. You want action, okay? And this person's coming in with that little ace and that little ace of wands, ace of pentacles, and that page of cups. That's not what you want, right? You want, like, more like the king of cups, right? Someone who's matured enough, right? It's more like the king of wands here to match your energies, okay? You want quick action. You want to like, let's do this. Let's take it to the next step, etc. And here they are just getting started with you after a fallout probably. And with the three of wands here, I think you're just going to wait and watch patiently what this person has to offer you next. Maybe you've gone in circles with this person and you don't trust this person anymore. That's why you have your guards up out here. Like how many more chances do I need to give you in order for you to come in correctly to me or to make it right? 
you're lacking the motivation, you know. You you lack that mojo when it comes to this person. You're lacking that deep motivation, that confidence to let this person in. Because there could be someone very immature emotionally, okay? Okay, Ten of Pentacles. They do want something committed with you, okay? I just said Ten of Pentacles. Look, that's what they want. They want marriage. They want commitment. But with the Four of Pentacles, that you're holding back from this person because you don't trust them. You don't want to be vulnerable this time. Maybe if I'm probably if seeing like this, then probably this is someone who's ready to fight for this relationship with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're going to protect and guard what they have and they're not going to let you go. But you, on the other hand, are pretty much closed off, okay? You don't want to be vulnerable. You're in the state of shutdown, emotionally closed off, blocking yourself, blocking your heart chakra. They want a reconciliation, resurrection. They want a second chance. They've learned their lessons, Scorpio. They've learned their lessons, okay? And they're very assertive about what they want and what they want is you. Not only do they want the ace and the ace of wands and the ace of pentacles, they do want the stability, the commitments, the marriage, the, the hamster, the dog, the public recognition, whatever have you, okay? They're ready to give you their all. But you're so stubborn about this. You're not wanting to open up. Definitely not. You just want to give this some time. What is the outcome? Ace of Swords. See, there is going to be some truthful communication, okay? I feel this person is going to open up and they're going to tell you what the truth is, okay? There's going to be something that they've been keeping to themselves. We have three aces here, like, dude, we only are missing the Ace of Cups. But Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, these are a lot of brand new beginnings, right? Like I said, right? Something ended. Something's ended between you guys and now you're on your way. And you've been waiting for this person to come and manifesting this person, okay? And now this person's coming in with all these good things, these blessings, and they want a reconciliation, okay? But with the Four of Pentacles here, I think you're the one who's very shut off. I mean, for, I'm literally getting you guarding your boundaries, okay? You have your boundaries up. Like, okay, if you're coming back to me with another lame ass apology or lame ass offer, I'm not interested because you don't want the Three of Cups. You want Two of Cups, okay? You don't want any friend zoning anymore. <clears throat> you just don't want the passion. You want something more stable. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, see, they see you as marriage material. They do. Whilst you're very focused on your career goals, they see you as marriage material. They see you as someone they want to be with, someone they want to get married to. They hold you in very high respect for sure. That's one thing I'll tell you. They look at you in good light. They see you as someone very practical, very grounded, very focused on herself, you know, very nurturing. But again, someone who's leaving their emotions on the side and looking at things in a more logical and practical manner, okay? Maybe you were someone who was very clingy, very pushy, very demonic, but they don't see you as doing that. What my problem here is that you're going, you're coming up as the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. You're, they're showing up as the Page of Cups, which means that there is still that emotional immaturity going around, okay? And that's something that I feel you already know. And that's something that you can't deal with over and over again. That's why you're going to think so much about it with the Three of Wands, Four of Pentacles. And the seven of wands here. You're still going to have your cards up. I don't think you're letting this person in as easily as you always did before. But they're coming in, guys, with that resurrection. I think you guys will reconcile. But just be very careful about that, you know. <clears throat> you don't want that. I mean, you want a new beginning, but you wouldn't want a brand new beginning with someone who is still not sure about their feelings about you or they haven't grown to that maturity level that you want. So just be very careful about that, okay? You're the action taker here. This is someone still who's living in their dreams. But in order for them to make this Ace of Pentacles into a reality, they need to take action, which means we need to see like at least a page or a king of wands here. We need more action here, which is not happening. This is just someone who's living in their dream zone. So, yeah, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.